JJ here from 22 Explosive Hits. And now with this video, um, I purchased, I got these records from the Coleman Collection. Um, he was a friend of Matty's for 49 years, I believe. Um, a very close friend of his, and he was very, um, he, he took the collection, uh, it, this guy's vast record collection off of his hands. He had a lot of Beatles, he had a lot of Bob Dylan. He, um, I put the links in my video here um, to those, um, to when he actually uh, acquired the collection, um, when he went to San Francisco to go get it, as well as him digging through the collection to give you guys an idea of what's actually in the collection as well. But um, I saw in the video that they had the, uh, one of my holy grails was in here, was the um, Beatles anthologies. So that's what I got. Although, thank you, Mazzy, I did get these pins. Um, I put these right here. Got these here. And uh, the first one, and I two out of three of them were actually sealed. I was really surprised. Uh, this is the first one right here, the Beatles Anthology 1. Uh, this one, uh, people know, has uh, Free as a Bird, which was played in the radio station when it came out over and over and over again. I remember that. And um, this was has all the outtakes. And what's really cool is that, um, this, it being as a, now I have it in 12-inch, it really makes the artwork and all the linear notes and everything stand out a lot more than squinting to look at the little CDs that I've had. I mean, those are great, but this is really what I've wanted uh, for uh, for my uh, collection. And the other one would be the Anthology 2 right here. And this one has Real Love on it, uh, which was the remake uh, that they did back in 95 where Jeff Lynne uh, produced... Um, the remaining Beatles, and they had they dubbed in John Lennon singing on it, and this has a lot of the stuff on here like uh, Strawberry Fields, the different takes for that one, um, Only a Northern Song, kind of that Rubber Soul Revolver era is all in this one right here, and the last one that I have, and this one that it was actually not sealed, so I can show you guys the inside. Uh, this one has. Um, this is the third one, and my favorite cut on this one was While My Guitar Gently Weeps the Acoustic. I remember hearing that even in the documentary, and I was like, wow. And I remember the Beatles in documentaries when they came out, uh, because I sold cars at that time back in 1995, and I remember when it came out, um, watching it uh, in the TV lounge. I really should have been out on the floor trying to sell some cars. But I really didn't make any money because I was kind of mesmerized by all the footage and everything that went along with watching those on uh, ABC when they aired uh, here in America. So here's the inside. Really good pictures in there of the older lads. Really good, really great photos. See how those photos stand out so much better on the 12 inch uh, than they do um, on those CD pictures that are out there. And again, my favorite cut on here is uh, while my guitar gently weeps the acoustic version is for me totally worth the entire all three record set uh, but um, um, Mazzy uh, who is um, giving out fair prices on um, on stuff from the Coleman collection um, I to give an idea the ones that I saw were in much worse condition um, than obviously I have, these are sealed so I haven't looked at the other ones but this one um, I can tell right at the vinyl's mint and um, I got a much better price than um, I even saw him at a record show and the guy wanted 125 for him. And I would say those are probably VG plus maybe. So, um, yeah, he's really putting it out there to try to um, get his uh, friend's collection and to, you know, kind of have others feel that love that he felt for his friend of uh, 49 years. And um, as he even uh, shared with me a really cool story that um, him and uh, Coleman would actually get together, um, I think it was like for the last eight years, and they would watch all 10 hours of the Beatles Anthology video um, together and watch the entire thing from front to back. Now, I watched that by myself. I really never sat there with a friend and watched it. But to me, that really shows that kind of bond they had with music and with the Beatles and Bob Dylan. And the two of them, you know, it was really kind of something that, I'm really happy to be a part of. I'm happy to be a part of, I mean, that's what we are. We're a vinyl community and we share music and, and our different love of music. Now we might have different angles we come at with it, with that music, but we all have that kind of bond and to have that kind of bond with somebody for 49 years and music and the Beatles and Bob Dylan and uh, be that kind of uh, 
catalyst of your friendship. Uh, I think it's beautiful. And I'm really glad to be a part of it. I also did in the sale that was out there recently, I did manage to get the Clapton's. So I'm excited about getting those as well as Stars 45, which I'm excited too to get that one. <laughs> Maybe a better pressing than the Kate one that I have in my collection. So um, yes, um, um, if you want to go check my links down below, I have links to the uh, Coleman collection. I have a link to and a link to Mazzy's channel and also him browsing through the collection as well. Um, I know that on his channel he mentioned that he'll be lo looking to do future sales, uh, where he'll be showing records and having people um, offer to purchase those records uh, from him. And uh, I just want to, in uh, deepest sincerity, Mazzy, say one i'm sorry for your loss i've lost good friends and um i uh, know uh deeply how you know that touches you but in a way i'm kind of happy and i'm very be able to be able to celebrate his life uh, by having these anthologies um, in my collection and actually knowing the story behind those records i get records in my collection um, I buy music, I buy whatever, but you don't always know the stories behind those records. And by having the stories, these anthologies are going to stand out so much higher in my collection and anything that I have, not just Beatles, k -Tel, whatever it is in my collection, those are going to stand out that much greater because I know how that was part of your life and a part of your life with him. So, um, I just, and uh, one more thing I just want to point out is that if you look behind me, um, I have the two frames. There's actually technically three frames if I slide it over just a little bit. Uh, there you go. There's a third frame there, actually. There's three frames. Um, I'm going to put the Beatles anthologies in my future videos for a while, along with a picture of Coleman up there um, to show up, kind of uh, showcase the Coleman collection. Um, so I'm going to put the anthologies one, two, and three. Up, it, up there as well as a picture of Coleman up there um, in future videos that you'll see that, I, that I'll do you'll see it in future live streams and everything else so uh, again thank you very much Mazzy I know this it, it, more than I, I really look at this as being more than just a purchase or a you know an acquirement to my collection this one really has a real story behind it and I'm glad to be a part of it so I just want to remind the vinyl community as I always say let's bring each other up rather than bring each other down have a great day